here at the Blue Green Farm in Dixon, California. We are here with the sustainable We are here with the Sustainable Aquaculture 2022 Cosmos Cluster. I'm your host, Izzy, a 2019 Cosmos alum and current teaching intern for the cluster. For all you future Cosmos students, I will be interviewing current cluster students to get insights on how they're feeling, how exciting this whole day is, and why this program is so meaningful and great. I'm currently standing at the UC Aquaculture Extension Aquaponic Greenhouse. All right, I'm currently here with Ari. Hi. So Ari, we are currently in an aquaponic greenhouse. Do you want to explain a little bit about what that is? So inside the greenhouse, there's like NFT systems that we just filled. We also have our mint plants. And it's really nice in here. It's a little bit warmer than outside inside, but um, it's a really nice day today. So it's like the perfect day to do stuff inside the greenhouse. All right, Edward, what's going on? Uh, we're flooding our wicking beds, looking really nice. Got to fill it three times. Great procedure, it's awesome. Three times, why is that? I think it's for like, well we flood it and then wait for it to soak in and then do it again. So I think like it's to fully saturate the soil. Andrea, what are we doing? We're taking out these plants out of these to put in there. In there? What's there? Those are the NFT channels. NFT channels? Isn't that cryptocurrency? Definitely. Just kidding. What is it then? <laughs> um, it's, it's a method of hydroponic where you where the water flows down and it touches these roots and their blocks inside the channel. So in this context, what does NFT stand for? Nutrient film technology. Te technique. Te mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's starting to make a little more sense. Yeah. You gotta go deeper in the tail. Oh my god. That, that took a long time. We've had some exciting fish catches here today, and we've been able to wait and measure white sturgeon, which will go on to be farmed for their caviar and their meat. So the splashes that you got here. Yep. Your, na your name tag's a little wet. Um, a, a little bit, yeah. How, how do you feel after, after, how many fish did you catch? Uh, I think two, I believe. All right, you heard it here first. He caught two fish. Yes. <laughs> Avery, Avery, what are we doing here? We're counting the sturgeon before we release them back in the tank. Is this a difficult process or is it a breeze? I think it's easier than catching them. <laughs> I'm here with Addie, the teaching fellow. She's currently trying to catch a fish. So how has this program been for you? It's actually been great. I've learned a lot of stuff about aquaculture and I've enjoyed it. all the different field trips. I did not know it was such a relevant industry in this area. You seem to have expertly caught that fish. Are you faster learners than some of the students? Yes, I think so. I'm joking now. Nathan <laughs> helped me out a lot, so. <laughs> so what do you think of sturgeons now that you've had them up close and personal in your hands? They're a very cool fish, because I didn't really know about them before the... Did you say they're your favorite fish? One of my favorites. Would you say that you are excited about the program and just excited to go off to college now that you've had a little taste of it? For sure. Um, definitely, like, before I was a little bit more nervous for, like, you know, like, just being away from what I've known, like, for my entire life. So, yeah, I definitely feel more comfortable going into college. All right, I'm here with Jonathan, a current Cosmo student. So, other than, you know, catching Sturgeon here today, how has your experience in the Cosmos Cluster 11 program been? I mean, it's been really fun. Um, the number of trips that we've been able to go on, kind of going to all these, like, real facilities has been really interesting kind of getting to see everything I'm learning in class applied in the real world is really awesome um, and then all, all the group projects have been a lot of fun um, I feel I feel better at collaborating with people now than I was when I got here um, and just overall this this whole program has been a complete blast what would you say is your major takeaway after going through three weeks of class here at Cosmos in general and also just in the aquaculture and aquaponics cluster? It's been um, a lot of fun connecting with uh, these kids that I just met three weeks ago and kind of just seeing how similar we all are uh, when we're united by a common interest um, and getting to talk to such knowledgeable professors 
professors who have so much knowledge to share has been a lot of fun. Um, I think that was the best part. Just all these people have been really fun.